Bill Cosby's wife Camille is now breaking her silence about the scandal surrounding the comedian, saying he is the man you thought you knew. As Bill Cosby faces a growing number of sexual assault and harassment accusations, his wife is standing by her man. In a statement, Camille Cosby says, The man whom I continue to love is the man you all knew through his work. He is a kind man, a generous man, a funny man, and a wonderful husband, father, and friend. He is the man you all thought you knew. A different man has been portrayed in the media over the last two months. It is a portrait of a man I do not know. Camille goes on to say there appears to be no vetting of Cosby's accusers before stories are published. She compares the coverage to a Rolling Stone article about allegations of rape at the University of Virginia, a story that eventually proved to have a number of alarming discrepancies. Cosby currently stands accused of drugging and sexually assaulting or harassing. Brad Pitt took on a role of a different sort last night, filling in for wife Angelina Jolie at the premiere of her film, Unbroken. He and kids packed Shiloh Maddox and his own parents hit the red carpet in Hollywood in the place of Jolie. As Entertainment City reported yesterday, Jolie has come down with the chicken pox. Pitt gave an update on his wife's health status. A little itchy, but she's doing all right. Unbroken is the second directorial attempt for Jolie. She was snubbed by the Golden Globes, but did snag a Critics' Choice Award nomination yesterday for Best Director and Best Picture. However, as with all the other awards nominations so far, Birdman was the critics' favorite with 13 nominations. Another star-studded premiere taking place across the pond in London for Night at the Museum, Secrets of the Tomb. The third installment of the franchise sees the return of Ben Stiller in the starring role, one cast member whose absence was deeply felt on the blue carpet, Robin Williams. The late comedian played Theodore Roosevelt, one of his last on-screen performances before his death in August. Williams tops Google Canada's celebrity searches of 2014. The search engine giant revealed which celebrities had Canadians buzzing this year. After Williams came Philip Seymour Hoffman, who died of an accidental drug overdose in February. Third most searched for was celeb Hunger Games star Jennifer Lawrence, who was the victim of a nude photo leak this year. You're all that matters to me. Good news, believers. Justin Bieber isn't just single, he's super single. The Canadian singer confirmed his relationship status on Instagram while denying rumors he was dating model Haley Baldwin. He wrote, people are crazy. This is my good friend. You would know otherwise. A famous impressionist is bringing country flair to Christmas in Las Vegas, and our Jill Bellin got the first-hand look. I'm Jill Belland in Las Vegas, where we got a chance to sit down with the voice of Las Vegas, Terry Fader, along with one of his singing co-stars in Terry Fader, A Country Christmas. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight, walking in a winter wonderland. How many voices will audiences hear uh, with you on stage? Oh, they're going to hear about 40 voices. Now let's talk a little bit about yourself and what the last five, six years has been like for you. <laughs> it's been amazing. I mean, I went from complete obscurity mm -hmm. uh, in 2007. I, I, was, I was on America's Got Talent. And within a year and a half of winning the show, I had uh, my own theater, Terry Vader Theater at the Mirage. We've been here now five and a half years. It's just, uh, you know, mind-boggling. And we love Canada. Y'all come see us. Y'all come see us. Terry Vader, A Country Christmas runs here at the Mirage until December 25th. For Entertainment City, I'm Jill Belland. And remember, you can find the latest entertainment headlines on Twitter at NCity. Entertainment City is brought to you by Vanilla MasterCard and Vanilla Visa prepaid cards. One card, a million options.